fitness this season. Worked on uh, the Lucas Hill, Lucas's Hill, behind the San Antonio training complex. Uh, doing a lot of things to try to stay in shape this offseason. And uh, to give you an example of what the Hill is all about, our intrepid reporter, Nancy Lieberman and Jeff Van Gundy tested the Hill today. Nancy just edging out Jeff. I, I mean, when hill. you lose, there's no problem losing. But a 50-year-old woman running in flats, dress shoes, I yeah. lose to her. You're I'm firing than. my trainer. You're better than He that. has not done a good job. <laughs> Anthony Falzone, you're on notice. I'm changing <laughs> trainers tomorrow. But didn't you just give him free airtime? He's going to need it because he's lost <laughs> one client. If I can't... And I already lost to Sean Elliott, and he tried to taunt me running backwards. I beat him when he ran backwards. Uh, Nancy? Those were actually my new Nike Beat Van Gundy's. They just came out on the market. And uh, matter of fact, Mark Jackson bought the uh, inaugural pair. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Bruce Bowen calls for the foul on the outside. That, that thing's pretty intense. Now, Mark and I were dressed properly for work, so we were unable to participate with you and Nancy. But th that hill was pretty intense. Oh, it was First steep now. John Lucas. That, that's like some sick stuff you made up there. <laughs> what I loved is the fake hustle fist punch at the end when you realize you ah, I was beat. disappointed. I thought I had it. Fisher, a three. And the Lakers, who had opened one of seven, shooting in the third, get one there. And Fisher with the rainbow over Tim Duncan. The only, the only thing I'd add to that hill, though, is I would make it a sled on the way down. Like, I would be able to flip the switch and make it icy so I could slide down, you know, like a wintry sport, like bobsled type of thing. No, no sledding talk. It's very dangerous. Duncan over Bynum for two. And back to a six-point Spurs lead. I love when he gets it deep in the paint. I, 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 when he's aggressive, they're going to... Not off Radmanovic, but off Mason. So this is the hill that Duncan was working on. So he got down to under 10% body fat working on this hill in the offseason. So you're on your way. Well, I'm not on my way to 10% body fat. I can tell you that <laughs> without question. The funniest thing to me is when you sent the message to Tim Duncan saying that you're going to be looking for him in the summertime. Oh, Brian couldn't finish as Bowen bumped him and the foul was caught. That, that's oh, believe me, it's on. This summer, <laughs> look, uh, he, he does the pool that they have out back, the Duncan pool. Right. Um, yeah, and I, I want to slide down. That's pathetic. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> you will do anything. <laughs> no, but what, what has happened to you, by the way? <laughs> I don't what know. What has happened? I don't know if it's midlife crisis or something. But anyway, I, I'm going to, and he does this tire thing. Uh, where he picks up the tire and he flips it. Well, I've seen that, but I've, that tire weighs 375 pounds. I was thinking more about the spare than my Toyota Camry. How can you lift the tire up like that? And then he runs in the sand, so it's on. It's like a triathlon plus one this summer. Did you say, Patrick, you and you're better than that? You're better than that. You got lateral quits. Maybe. West to the line. They're a good free throw shooting team. They're 12 of 17 tonight. They need everyone to get back into this game. I think I got a text message from Patrick Ewan. He said, Coach, I did see the Nancy Lieberman footage. Oh. <laughs> that, that could be one of the, what, what's the opposite of highlights? <laughs> Low lights. Low lights? Wow. She didn't just beat me, she whipped me. <laughs> For those who didn't see, they had a little foot race up the hill. James misses. Chris Paul the rebound, and it was won by the Hall of Famer, Lieberman. And I wish I could say it was close. West doubled out. Paul not looking to take that three, he goes right back to West. Serbiak on in. So we'll take a break with the Cavs leading by 13. Well, we have proof of that race that we spoke of moments ago. The great battle up the hill in San Antonio between our Jeff Van Gundy and Nancy Lieberman. There it is. Look at me, Dick. Dick, Jeff. <laughs> you got it, Jeff. Come on, baby. <laughs> and the winner is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mike. We'll hear from you guys a little bit later.
Everybody taking shots. You know, Nancy is in good shape. It's not like I lost to some out of shape 50 year old woman. Lost to a Hall of Famer. Right. You sound like the Hornets. I didn't like your effort for the whole race. No, I dug it out. Hey, sometimes, as my trainer wrote me after I fired him on air last game, <laughs> he said, Yao Ming called him up and said, it's not my work ethic and it's not my training. It's my lack of athletic ability. And so I have to fess up. I'm a non-athlete. Meanwhile, the foul call against Serbiak, who you saw, was not happy. Lead is back to 15 with 5.23 remaining. What is this? <laughs> is somebody just pounding on me right now? Yes, I think so. I, I like the fact that you, your reaction. That was pretty awesome. You didn't earn the right to react that way. I'm telling you, the streets are talking, and they're upset that you lost to Nancy Lee. You are a Hall of Famer also. Nazareth Hall of Famer, but you're a Hall of Famer also. Thank you. I'm glad you put that in. <laughs> well, we'll see how he bounces back from his loss. As the Cavs have bounced back from their loss last night. Losing in overtime to Chicago, coming right back and right from the get-go. They led by 11 after the first quarter. They have been in control this game. They've led by double figures the entire second half.